hi welcome to my channel it's Donnell I am on letter E of my Moyu London ABC series and this is the Enchanted collection and there are a lot of plates and I don't even have all of them I have one two three four five six of them so I am not doing multiple videos for each collection for each plate in a collection I should say so I'm only going to focus on uh, just the collection as a whole and I'm gonna just pick a couple images from it these are very like enchanted it, like the name fits it and also is this the right one I was I was kind of had them out so I could show some examples so the plates came, like this is plate 7 and this is plate 8, and you can see there's a significant size difference. So say like the toucan, it's really small. So if you have really short nails, like this would fit. It would actually fit. It would work. and But it wouldn't work if for my really big nail, you know. Well, I mean, it would fit, but it would look kind of weird because it's so big, so small on a big nail. And then this one is much larger. Where's the toucan? It's right there. So it's the exact same image. And so this would probably be better suited to like a larger nail. Or, you know, however you want to do it. That's my my take on it. You know, this will be better for like smaller nails. This is bigger for, I mean, better for bigger nails. So I'm just going to pick up a couple images and put them on. I thought I would use, I have this Model 1's nail polish it's not gel it's just their nail polish and it's just this really pale green so i thought i would uh give it a try and see what i can see what i can do so i'm gonna have to let these fully dry before i actually do anything with them Sorry, I'm all confused. I wanted to use some of these, just like the foliage, and I'm going to use it in this nice um, dark green. It's Emerald City B514 from Maniology. Of course, it's so pretty. Do I want the stripey one or maybe one of these? I think I'm going to go with one of those. And I'm going to do this on a smaller nail just so that the more specific images show up. I should have used my smaller tip, my smaller nail stands because these are huge for the... Um, this uh, nail tip. Sorry, getting distracted. I'm just gonna add a little bits and pieces in there. It just looks a little bare over there. I don't think that's good though. I'm just using my fingernail to scrape it away. So I want to see how the chameleon looks. Oh, I just thought of what I should have did. I should have kind of used more of these colors and did uh, like a chameleon change in colors. 
if that makes sense. Like I could have did a little bit of green, a little bit of pink, a little bit of the orange. But I think that works. What do you guys think of my little chameleon? I think he's cute. It's a pretty little chameleon. I like him. Well, let's see what else we can do. We can do this little leopard over here maybe and it's wrong stamper don't know if I got that very good but let's see no I don't I think it needs to be I need to try again that pickup was not satisfactory I have a problem with um, some of the Moyu London plates, not all of them and not not even all on the same plate, but some of them on the edges, like I can't get that excess off the like side. So I'm gonna try to use less polish and try to not let it get on those sides. Let's see if I can scrape this in. I'm also using a big scraper, which if you watch most of my videos, I rarely ever use the bigger scrapers. They just don't suit me as well. I'm going to use Moyu's Roasted Caramel. I don't need very much. Wow. I say that, but that doesn't mean anything. Oh, you know, I'm just kind of thinking of it. And maybe it's a little weird that I picked him up in green. Is that going to look strange? And you know what? This might be too dark. Like there might not be enough contrast between... The... No, I think it's going to work. That's some skinny little legs you got there, buddy. Cross eyed trying to see that. So, one tip I find for me is when I'm trying to get into small spaces, yeah, that wasn't enough polish. If you have a larger space connecting, try to put a drop of polish right on top like for the tail like right here and then just very gently tap it out oh no i seen a missing spot and then i tried to go and do it it's still it's trying too fast and try to like just very gently tap it in there I did better on the skinny little legs. Yeah, that got a little wonky there. Yay! Actually, I don't think the green's too bad. There was a spot missing somewhere. I'm trying to find it. Or maybe that's just the... Um image. So I bought this jar to uh, hopefully because it has you know that seal so that my when I put acetone in it to clean my brushes I don't have to keep refilling it if it's a long session or over multiple days or whatever just you know it's a pain in the butt to keep doing it and it actually holds pretty well. I was surprised 
how well it held. I'm going to put this little guy over. Doesn't matter. I think the nails are the same. I'm just giving it just a second to dry. And I do need to put on some sticky coat. And my preferred method these days, because I hate waiting for stuff to dry, is I use Orly Bonder base. Most people use it as a base coat just to help their manis last longer. I learned this in a video from Pretty Fingers by Robin. She just, that might, excuse me, that might have been a lot, so I'm just going to tap it out. She just puts a little bit on a sponge and then just very lightly taps. You don't want to overdo it because you will pick up the polish, in my experience. Uh, and I don't even cut my sponge up. I've been using this same side right here, and it's hard, but it still works. You just get a thin layer on it, enough for your polish to stick to. I'm going to give it just a few more seconds for the leopard to dry. And anyway, like you don't have to sit here and guess when your sticky base coat is dry. You just do that, and it, it stays a little tacky. All right, let me go ahead and get this on. I think I did that crooked. Oh, I didn't get it on enough. Boo. All right, you know what? Maybe I wiped too much off when I did it. Uh -uh. Okay, I got it back on. Hopefully I don't pick up the... I'm just kind of going around. And I'm going to try... I don't know if I'll be able to... I'm trying to figure out where it went. I can't believe I did that. Oh, yes. Yes, I can believe I did that. And I'm just going to add just a little bit right there. And just a little bit up here. Kind of fill in some of the gaps. Yeah, so that's not perfect. I, I made a boo-boo. I made a boo-boo. I don't like how that looks. It's not staying though. It's alright. It still looks good. Yeah. I am really having trouble with this. decisions because I kind of want to do more but I mean I'd be here all day trying to use all six plates you understand Let's start down here I didn't put on a base coat Ugh. oh but look it's stuck still but barely I don't know if that really works as foliage though it's not going to line up perfectly and it's sideways, but I wanted to just get that little bit of line without having to stamp again. I don't know, it kind of looks like vines. What do you think? Yeah, there we go. And let's go ahead and do a top coat. You all know I like a shiny gel top coat, so... That's what I'm going to do. Just 
turn my lamp on. It's like before your eyes, it just gives it the gel gel top coats just like really encapsulate your stamping and it just makes them look gives them more depth whereas if you're using a matte top coat you know it kind of flattens everything but while I say it flattens everything it can also sometimes matte can make certain types of designs and color combinations stand out more. And so my back to school theme in my preschool classroom is uh, Welcome to the Jungle and um, I should do a whole set of these to wear it's not next week. We op we um next week is we're closed to the children for the end service trainings and stuff to get our classroom set up and do open house. And then the following week we open back to the children, get our new classes, all of that good stuff. And we should do a old jungle theme. That's kind of coming off a little bit. I don't want it to get in my top coat. All right, they got the top coat on. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the lamp. And <laughs> those are so nice. They look really good. The chameleon is super cute. I really like the chameleon. Yeah, that would look good as a noun. Ignore my dry cuticles. I am touching acetone to clean off my plates with my bare hands. I hope I kind of missed the tip. That's okay. Use an acetone to clean off the plates without anything on my nails. And I mean on my hands. And it's just, they're so dry right now. Oh, I missed a spot with the gel. It's okay. I, I like my I like my leopard. I think it's cute. All right, here we go. This is what I came up with for the Enchanted collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button, comment below, share, and hit the subscribe button so you're notified of future uploads. Talk to you later. Bye.